Hey folks, the Bible says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. The Bible says that there's forgiveness and no other name under heaven but Jesus Christ. If you're not as Christians today, if you haven't repented and put your saving faith in Christ, I plead with you today, repent. Believe on the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. Have a wonderful evening. God bless you. Feel from Grace Park. Hey, sir, can I give you one of those? Thank you. Do you love your neighbor? Thank you. Man. No? Hey, do you guys mind if I give you one of these? It's about Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. I'd appreciate it if you read it, man, looked at it. Thank you. There's salvation under, no, under heaven, under no other name. You gotta repent and believe on the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. Amen. Have a good night. God bless you. Here. Hey, do you guys mind if I give you one of these? Yeah, that's a do you love your neighbor? Oh, cool. Yeah. Right, you guys have a good night. God hey, bless you. Hey, sir, you mind if I give you one of these? It's a, a packet, Do You Love Your Neighbor? Uh, and also, uh, it's about the gospel of Jesus Christ. You guys Christians? No. No? Uh -uh. Atheist? Well, Agnostic? I was Christian academy when I was in high school. You know, I, I grew up in the church, and uh, I believed I was saved my whole life. And I got to a point in my life where I realized that I wasn't saved at all. I was just a churchgoer. I was a Sunday morning Christian. I was playing the hypocrite. And uh, God woke me up and showed me the foolishness of my thinking. He showed me that, look, you, you're dependent on yourself. You think you're saved, but you're not. And He gave me the heart that He promises in Scripture. He did a work in me that's undeniably clear that He did something in me. He gave me a heart to tell people about that. And that's why He commands all men everywhere to repent and believe on the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. There's salvation in, under, there's salvation in no other name under heaven by which men must be saved. Um, you know, it was his plan from the beginning. He knew that we were going to be imperfect people. He knew that sin was going to enter the world. He knew that evil was going to be here. And in his love for us, he sent his son into the world to die for us so that we would not have to face his wrath. That's his option to us. He says, I place before you life and death, blessings and curses. Now choose life so that you and your children might live. And that's why we're out here talking to people today. You know, the famous atheist, uh, 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 what's his name, po Jen Anyways, I can't think of his name. He said, how much do you have to hate somebody to believe that they're going to go to hell and not warn them? Pen Gillette, thank you. How much do you, have to, how much do you have to believe, how much do you have to hate somebody? And, you know, God's called us to, to love our neighbor as ourselves. He's called us to, to proclaim His truth and His gospel. Is that all right? I got one of these right here. This one's, a, that's, that's a baby in the womb. That's a little baby like you guys once were in a mama's tummy. Um, that's the same way that Jesus Christ entered the womb, just like a baby. Hold on to it. Let me hold on to it. Yeah, man. In your pocket. What do you say? And you know, God, God, you know, God told us. You know, He said, "You want one too, man?" What's your guys' name? I got. Here, let me give you. Uh, let me give you one of these. And you know, God says He resists the proud, but He gives grace to the humble. We must humble ourselves before God. He says, "If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins." And, you know, don't let hypocritical Christians that you've seen in your life that played the hypocrite, like I once did, don't let those people dissuade you and, and, and take away the gift of salvation that's being put in front of you. Uh, lay aside your pride, come to Him in humility, confess your sins and seek Him daily, and He will grant you repentance, leading to saving faith. I guarantee it. He did it to me, He can do it to you. Our, my information, our, our website, I don't, did I, our website's right there on the bottom of that card. Uh, we have an email. And my phone number's on there, and you can call me anytime. You can email uh, Jake or myself. We'll both get it. Better than that. Look here. Here's your business card. Oh, business card. I got a business Thank card. You. Business card. Yeah, so if you guys have any questions or whatever, just just let us know. We're not here I to judge. I wish they would stop abortion. I don't think. Oh, man. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's just <laughs> heinous. It's no. just wicked. are under 18, and they don't have to tell their parents and stuff about it. That's what I think it's horrible. You guys don't have to only call us about it. About abortion. Oh, yeah. Talk about anything, okay? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right. It was a real pleasure well, meeting to it. It was a blessing. They told me I could never get pregnant, and it took me five and a half years. And I had to go through painful tests and then had complications with them and almost lost them between three and five months. And we both almost lost our life on the C section table. Oh, man. So we've been through it. Well, it sounds like, it sounds like God's months. brought you through, you know, yeah. the Bible says it's appointed for a man, I mean, or a woman, it's appointed for a person once to die, and after this, the judgment. God kept you alive for a reason, oh, okay? 
And then February 28th, well, I've actually been cancer free for two years. That's amazing. Yeah. And you're not I a Christian. You don't believe in. Do you believe in God at least? Yeah. Okay. Well, why don't you? Why? Why wouldn't you consider yourself be a Christian then? That's see. Uh, it was a pleasure meeting you tonight. I really hope you think about what we talked about. You know, Christ talked about hell more than heaven, and he talked about that not because he was hateful or judgmental. He talked about it because he loved people. He didn't want them to go there, and that's why he came. He came to redeem us, so that so he he who knew no sin became sin on our behalf, so that we could be the righteousness of God. He says that if you accept his gift of salvation, if you believe on his name, if you put your faith and trust in Christ and Christ alone, and that he died on the cross and he took the wrath of God upon himself so that God could count you righteous instead. See, it's not that God just laid aside his justice and gave you mercy instead. He issued justice on himself. He, he satisfied his own wrath for you so that you wouldn't have to. And he says if you take that gift, you'll be sons and daughters of the Most High, and you'll glory with him for eternity forever, and he'll give you a heart. I mean, he gives you a heart that, you, you know, you think you're a good person. Whew. He gives you a heart that just shows you, I was wretched and I was lost. And I thought I was so good. That definitely touches. Okay. And he, I mean, that's what he did to me. He says, I'll take out your heart of stone. I will give you a heart of flesh. I will write my law on your heart so that you will not depart from me. He says, look, I'm taking everything into my hands. I'm taking your salvation into my hands. I'm taking your life into my hands. I'm taking your heart into my hands. All you have to do is abide in me. That's all you have to do is put your trust in me. You're going to have difficult times. You're going to be persecuted. People are going to hate you for what you believe in. But I will be with you all the way until the end. That's what he said. But you have to grab a hold of that promise. You have to believe in it and you have to, you have to just plead with him. Have mercy on me, a sinner. I've done all these things that I'm not supposed to do in your sight. I haven't, I haven't even lived my life for you at all. And he, says, I will, and he says, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us. It's because he loves us. That's the love of God. But the other side of that is if we don't repent, Christ told us we will all likewise perish. He says, be not deceived. All liars, all thieves, all fornicators, all adulterers will have their place in the lake of fire. That's the reality. Others, that's the other side of the reality. I place before you life and death, blessings and curses. Now choose life so that you and your children might live. And your salvation can lead to their salvation. Who's going to teach them the things of God other than their parents? You know what I mean? All right, I really, I really hope you think about what we talked about. It was a pleasure meeting you. I don't think we run into anybody by chance, okay? I mean, we're almost to our car. You're the last people we'll probably run into. Enjoy your night. God bless you.